What's up guys welcome back to this series in C programming. In this video we will be learning about strings in C. More specifically we will be learning to use textual data in our code. So let's get started. Before we learn more about strings let's first see the example of the hello world program. Here hello world is an example of a string we have used double quotation to represent strings. In programming, strings are a collection of characters that are used to represent textual data. For example, hello world is a string containing a sequence of characters H, E, L, L, O, W, O, R, L, D, world. Now that you know what strings are, let's see how we can create them in C. Here we have created a string type variable str with the value program is. If you look carefully, you can see the syntax of string looks somehow similar to an array. This is because the string in C are an array of characters. So this code is similar to this. So let's complete this program has include stdio.h int mean inside the curly braces return 0. I'll cut this and I'll put it here. Then I'll print this using printf statement. So percent %s comma str. Here you can see we have used percent %s format specifier to print the string. Now let me run this code. You can see we have successfully printed the string. By the way, every string in C is terminated by a null character represented by slash zero. This null character helps the compiler to identify the end of the string. Even in our string programmings, the compiler adds slash zero at the end. Due to this, the actual size of the string will be one greater than the total number of character in the string. By the way, if you are watching this, there is a good chance you want to improve your skills in C programming. Lucky for you, we have a mobile app that provides a well-structured C programming course with certification at the end. And you can use the app alongside the video to practice on the built-in compiler. Our course is free, so download now by scanning this QR code or click the link in the video description. We can use the same scanner function to take string input from the user. Let me show you. Here I have this code from earlier program. I'll remove this part. Now if you remember, this is the syntax of declaring an array. I'm declaring an array of characters, so I have to provide the size of this array as well. I'll add here 20. Now I'll add scanf statement to take the input from the user. You can see I have used str instead of ampersand str. This is because str is an array and it already points to the address of the first element of str. Hence, we can omit ampersand and we will discuss this in our later videos. Now before the scanf, let me print the statement and ask the user for their name. So printf, I'll enter your name here. Now I'll run this and I'll enter my name. You can see input value is stored on str string. Now let me run this code again. This time I'll enter my full name, Padma Manandar, and I'll enter However, I'm only getting Padma instead of my full name Padma Manandar. This is because the scanf method only takes the input until it encounters white space. Here there is a space after Padma, so the scanf method only takes Padma and ignores Manandar. If you want to take the entire line of string as input, we can use fgets function. Let me modify the program. I'll remove this scanf function. And I'll add here f gets bracket str comma size size of str comma std in. 
here f gets function only takes three parameters the first parameter represent the name of the string in our case str is the name of the string and the second parameter is size of the string and this third parameter is stdin which means standard input which denotes that we are taking input from the keyboard now let me run this program i'll again type my full name and i'll enter this time you can see my full name is printed okay guys we need your support to keep these types of content free for all users youtube really likes engagement on the video so leave a comment below press that like button and hit subscribe if you haven't already let's get the engagement score high up so that more people can discover and enjoy these courses we know that a string is an array of characters in c so just like an array we can access each character of a string using indexes let's see an example i'll start with the basic structure of c program so has include stdio.h int mean and inside this curly braces return zero and here i'll create string with value program is so so char str square bracket is equals to program is now to access the characters we can use string name and the index inside the square bracket so let's access the first character and print it using print statement so i'll use print statement print f percent c comma str and index is zero and i'll run this code you can see p is printed on the screen similarly we can access other elements easily using array indices for that i'll copy this so i'll copy this and paste it here and i'll just change the value of index number here from 0 to 1 2 and 3 so now second third and fourth elements can be accessed using array indices 1 2 and 3 so now let's run this code as you can see we get the desired characters we can also change the character of a string for this, we can simply assign a new character to a particular index. Let's see an example. I'll use the same code from earlier program. Here I'll remove these print statements. Now suppose I want to change this third character to capital O, I can simply assign value to index 2. So str square bracket will point to the index number 2 and will assign its value capital O. Now let's change this fifth character to capital R. So I'll do the same process here again. So str with the index number 4, that means the fifth element is equals to capital R. I'll now print the string using printf statements. So printf bracket percent s comma str and i'll run this program as you can see the third character it changed to capital o from small o and the fifth character it changed from small r to capital r to revise what we have learned so far here is a programming task for you create a program that takes your full name as input and prints your name then change the first letter of your name to x now, if your name is John Williams, it will be X on Williams. If your name is Julie Bing, it will be Julie Bing with X as your first character. You can find the answer to this problem in our GitHub repository. And also, if you want to revise this concept, all the programs in this video will be present in there. The link is in the video description below. Now that we have reached the end of this video, it's time for programming quiz. 
comment your answer below see you in the next video happy programming